Start radio. This is the Sea Ranger. Five Bravo Yankee November. Over. Mabel, uh, this is Helen Request 26. Marker boy 290. Two Port of Fraser's Island. Light showing improper characteristics. Salmon Chaser, Salmon Chaser. Victor Bravo 2186. Go to Channel 24. Over. Southwesterly winds of 5 to 10 knots. Risk of gusting and thunder showers late in the day. Station calling Nimbus Radio, go to channel 27, over. In 30 years of radio operating, I never had a day like yesterday. 15 distress calls in one hour. Well, as it turned out, only two of them were genuine. The rest, they were people overreacting, mostly. Guys running low on fuel. There was a kid who sat on channel 16 for half an hour, calling, help me. It took us half the day to track him down. He didn't need any help. His parents left him with the radio to play with. A nice toy, they thought, to keep him quiet. You see, it's not a problem for us to cope with the emergencies. Canadian Coast Guard radio stations monitor all channels assigned to their particular region. Our problem is trying to sort out what's for real and being able to communicate clearly on channel 16, the designated distress, safety, and calling channel. The commercial operators are okay. They're well trained and certified. They understand what the radio is for. The fishermen, by and large, they're pretty good when it comes to using the radio. But there still are many who could benefit by spending a few minutes with the Department of Communications guide for the radio telephone operator. Chaser, Western Vestero. Marietta, Victor Kilo 5220, Cecil Coast Guard, go to channel 24, over. Jack? You do know how to work this fine vessel. Ace, Jerry, I'm an ace. I memorized the instruction manual last night. So, what could we do to celebrate this maiden voyage? Ha. Catch a few fish, get this thing back in one piece. It's the increased use of marine radios by pleasure craft that gives us the real headache. Not everyone, mind you. I can tell in a flash when I hear them who's licensed and certified and who's not. The licensed boaters use their call signs. They'll make contact on channel 16, then get off and go to a working channel to complete their communication. The rest, well, there must be thousands of boaters on the coasts and on the lakes who stick a radio in their boat and figure that the airwaves are all theirs and no one else's. It used to be, years ago, only commercial shipping used radios. Now, Almost everybody can buy one. Venus, Victor Zulu 6732. This is Kamista, Victor Zulu 7902. Over. Come I'll take in, Steve here. Victor he and his Zulu wife, Joan, Zulu are probably going to be okay with their radio. Victor Zulu 6732. Roger, Steve. Go to 68. Venus, Victor Zulu 6732. This is Kamista, Victor Zulu 7902. We'll meet you at 1700 hours for dinner. Over. Beach on Fox Island. See you then. Out. How's it going, Steve? Cooking. How about you? Ship shape. Let's go.
listen to that racket. It's better than listening to you all day. Find another channel. I give up. Station, station, Push station, station. zero zero and enter. This is Nimbus Coast Guard Radio. Nimbus Coast Guard Radio. Ah, that's better. You'll never catch anything with that, Jack. Quiet down. You scare the fish. The Nimbus Weather Center has issued a weather watch for the South Bay area. Weather conditions in this area are favorable to the development of severe thunder showers. Could produce heavy rain and strong winds. Hungry? Starving. I'll get some lunch. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Looks like a biggie, Jack. them, Jack. They're not there. The radio. Get help. Call Mayday. May Mayday! Mayday! Push the mic button. Mayday! Mayday! How come there's no reply? Go to channel 16. Mayday! 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 Vessel calling Mayday. This is the sailboat Camista, Victor Zulu 7902. Our position is approximately one nautical mile north of Sammy's Cove. Please identify yourself and give your location. Over. Jack, who are we? Where are we? We're Zika Luka. Somewhere north of Sammy's Cove. I think. We're the Zika Luka, somewhere north of Sammy's Cove. We think. Uh, my buddy is having a heart attack. He needs medication immediately. Sika Luca, this is Kamista, Victor Zulu 7902. Say again, do not shout. Speak slowly and clearly. Over. This is the Sika Luca. We're north of Sammy's Cove. The owner of the boat is having a heart attack. I don't know what to do. I can't operate the boat. I've got to get him back to shore. Over. Sika Luca, this is Camista. We're in the vicinity of your vessel. We'll attempt to meet you and contact the Coast Guard in order to arrange a transfer to an ambulance. Please stand by. Over. You're on channel 16? Yes. Try and raise the Coast Guard. Mayday Relay. Mayday Relay. Mayday Relay. Nimbus Coast Guard. This is Camista, Victor Zulu 7902. Do you read? Over. Camista, Victor Zulu 7902. This is Nimbus Radio. Over. Nimbus Radio, this is Camista. We're in contact with Sika Luca. It's somewhere north of Sammy's Cove. Occupant suffering from a heart attack needs immediate medical attention. Can you assist? Over. Camista, this is Nimbus Radio. Roger, please stand by. Break. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Nimbus Coast Guard Radio. Sinaos, Mayday, out. Break. Camista, this is Nimbus Radio. Can you provide description of distress vessel over there? Nimbus Radio, Camista, Roger, stand by. Sika Luca. This is Camista. Can you give us a description of your boat? Over. The boat has a beige hull with wood trim. Uh, length about 10 meters. Over. Roger, Sika Luca. Nimbus Radio, this is Camista. The vessel in distress has a beige hull, wood trim, and is about 10 meters long. There they are. We have visual contact and are proceeding towards the Sika Luca. Over. 
Roger, Camista. We're dispatching a rescue vessel to the Sikaluka and an ambulance to the marina. Please continue to transmit your call sign at one minute intervals to assist Coast Guard vessel in locating you. And please be advised, there's a storm front moving rapidly to your area. Over. See what I mean? Joan and Steve are not pro operators, but they took the trouble to learn how to use their radio. Before making a call, any call, they listen first to make sure they're not interrupting someone else's transmission, and they use proper procedure when placing a call. They knew how to handle a Mayday relay. How come we could hear them, but not the Sikaluka? Well, maybe he had a bad connection to his antenna, or was on low power, so his signal just didn't reach us. Luckily, the Camista was close enough, so Joan and Steve could pick it up. If you're going to have a radio, it's got to be properly installed and regularly maintained. And you don't have to yell into a microphone. The is coming. Over there. If transmission conditions are bad, speak in a normal tone of voice, clearly, precisely. And if need be, use the standard phonetic alphabet. Advise RCC on scene at this time, 1550 local, over. Roger, bitter. Nimbus radio out. Go, the stretcher. Yeah, stand on board. Get this boat back in. Okay. Easy, easy. Okay. Thanks! Okay. okay, you guys, we're gonna get the rest of the hustle. Nimbus Coast Guard Radio, Bittern. Uh, advise RCC, injured person on board. ETA dock at 1610 local, stop. Uh, weather conditions on scene at this time. Heavy rain, strong winds. And, very important, when a station is no longer in distress, the radio silence must be canceled so that the channel can go back to normal operations. This may be done by the station that was in distress, or in this case, by the station that controlled the distress traffic. Mayday, all stations, all stations, all stations. This is Nimbus Coast Guard Radio 2115, Coordinated Universal Time. Sikaluka, silence fini. Injured person now rescued. Nimbus radio out. This was a justifiable Mayday distress situation. Jack was in imminent danger and required immediate assistance. But let's say you're out of fuel and need a tow. If the weather's good, your situation is not imminent danger. In this case, you use the emergency call Pan Pan. Another priority message is the safety signal, which is used for navigation or weather warnings. And remember to use your call sign. And Jack, he recovered just fine. Then Jerry persuaded him to get his radio certificate. I kind of doubt we'll hear much from them again. But those fish had better watch out. I hope that the next distress I can't hear is picked up by good operators like Joan and Steve. For them, I'll bet the crackly voices coming over their loudspeaker will never be quite the same. Get your radio certificate. You'll be in good shape, and so will the Marine Radio Channel.